This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to book two, but part five. Ah, uh, six. I can't even count now. Six. Part six of building Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. Now, this is a quick build, as you saw down there. Look, um, the parts are just the disc brake, which I'm adding to the tire and the wheel that we built a couple of issues back. So before we do that, let's have a look at the magazine that we get this one, part two of the magazine, uh, telling us all of the parts that you've already seen all of these being made. This is the last one to be done. Uh, we're looking at the beautiful Eleanor, uh, the Gone in 60 Seconds universe, um, cars with women's names, and then classic, classic Mustangs. So uh, you've already seen the instructions for the buildings that we've done of the engine, the front grille pieces with the lights and the hood, seat which i did last time and this time we have some parts for the uh, just the disc brake and upcap type thing to finish off the wheel like so get it ready to be fitted uh but looking at the beautiful eleanor looking at the beginning um i'm not sure i will go back and read all of these because this is quite interesting to me but uh remaking a classic i've not seen the original original i've, I've seen the more recent one the one with this logo but not that one. Um, I might try and track it down and watch it because it could be quite interesting to watch. There we go. That's what that one's all about. Uh, is that two pages? That's two pages because there's four numbers. There we go. Uh, yeah, the 60 seconds of files behind the scenes of the original movie. Interesting stuff. And there we start with some more cars with women's names. We've got Tanya, um, the Porsche 911. I've always liked the 911. Uh, it's just got a nice finish, a nice styling to it. I like the, the little spoiler at the back and everything. Quite a nice car. I wouldn't mind having one of those. If you want to buy me one of those, feel free. Um, Megan. Yeah, it looks like a Megan. It's, yeah. Not exactly the... Not an everyday thing, not not in the UK anyway. Like almost an SUV type thing, isn't it? But yeah, ideal for long camping holidays or shopping. Not so good for popping down the shops. Big shopping, I mean, like you know, not not just going down for a Mars bar. Uh, the classic Mustangs, the Ford Mustang, uh, nineteen sixty four and a half. Don't quite get the half, but I'm sure it will tell you in the words. If you feel the need to read all of those, I'm not bothered about the old cars like that, but there we go. Uh, right, and it tells us what is happening next time. Now, this is the last of this batch. Uh, the next batch is being processed as we speak, so I will be getting it very soon. Uh, it looks like um, seven and eight are what was one issue. The first few issues always got more in it than the later ones. So they're spreading the tire and wheel over two issues on that one. Fine. And then we're doing the same that we're doing going to do in a minute on that one and then we're starting on a door it really is all over the place i'm not enamored with it being all over the place i prefer to focus on one bit do that one bit i mean for instance i mean the hood yes give us that and tease us with that and don't touch it for another 100 issues that's fine but we started on a seat we've not done anything else with the seat we're going to put that aside for ages are we going to start on the door and then put it aside for a long time we can't attach it to anything we haven't got a, a frame or a chassis or anything I'd be happy at doing that. But there we go. I can only do it in the order in which they send it. So let me clear this out of the way. 
we'll get to the tyre and see exactly what it is that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so only a few parts on this, as I say. Just the one pack of screws, which I believe we're only using one of. So take from that what you will. Uh, so first of all, we're going to be putting that on there. Uh, we've got two little plugs that come out the side there, which will locate onto there. Way around, that way around. Just like that. Uh, then that suits over the top of that, nice and easy. Uh, and then we have the brake system, uh, which actually clips in place into there, which is quite cool. That just clips in a bit like that. That's quite secure enough. It does the job, and this bit will still turn. That's what we have so far. Uh, then we need the wheel. Uh, what have we got? Is there a... There is a little notch there, which is obviously going to have to line up with the notch there. Is that lined up? Is that is that lined up? I don't think that's all the way home. Might have been. The trouble is with doing these, you can't actually see on one side exactly what's going on. That moving. It's still turning, so I don't think that's quite home. Although it might well be. Because it's not actually turning with the rest of it. So that probably is locked in place. That's that. Uh, we shall put our screw through there. So one of these screws that we're going to be using. goes right the way into the middle and that will hold the wheel onto the bit that we've just done like that so there's a bit of wobble there but not very much I can probably tighten that down just a touch more there we go so now there's very little wobble but it will still turn. It'll turn nicely. Let's see. How's that? Looking good. Uh, then this piece will just pop over the front there. Uh, feels magnetic. Is it magnetic? It is. Held on by a magnet. That is lovely. I like that. That will go in there. Magnetically held onto the screw, basically. So that is on there like so. The wheel is connected and good to go. So I shall put that aside. Uh, I'll put everything aside. I shall tidy up my screws and put everything aside until the next delivery arrives when we will continue with well, basically doing another wheel again. So uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe. I shall see you soon for this and other builds. Bye bye for now.